Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to clean carpets literally to perfection using zero liquid and zero chemicals, only a couple different tools. So I know you guys are just as familiar with the impossible carpeting as I am. I want to take you guys into the back of this minivan to show you what these carpets look like just in this little area before. Very, very dirty and tons of nasty tiny crumbs that ultimately are stuck underneath this nasty rat's nest of cheap felt fibrous material. This is actually the back of the third row of seats. So this really sucks in terms of the material, but we're about to cut your time in half regarding how you clean carpets like this. Now guys, the reality is the very first thing I always want to do is to vacuum up the surface level dirt that will come up with a vacuum. So I'm just going to do this area here where we can obviously see in the camera. I'm not using any chemicals, not pre-treating the area whatsoever. And I'm just getting up as much as I possibly can really quickly with the vacuum. Now, given the tool that I'm about to introduce, do not spend too much time on this particular job here. Okay, I just want to get the stuff that's obviously loose and make sure that I'm not missing anything major. Now let's check out what this looks like after. Now this is the part where detailers get really sad because the carpet from a distance looks incredible. But the carpet close up, you start to zero in on areas like this where it looks like sand. You've got tight little crumbs stuck in these black fibers. And when you're dealing with black impossible carpeting like this, you can see and emphasized all of the little pieces of grass, the tiny leaves that are in all these tiny little fibers tucked underneath that are not going to come out with the vacuum. They barely even move when I start to scrub them with my finger. And you're talking all over this area, we've got that issue. And so the detailer is thinking, hey, I'm just gonna move to go ahead and, and shampoo the carpets here and I'm gonna fix my world. But the issue here is shampooing carpets could actually fix your problem and it might be all you need to do. The issue is that it might be taking you way too long to do that. So while yes, it's a valid strategy, if we can fix this without introducing any liquid whatsoever, it's gonna make our life way easier. This is a maintenance client. The carpets don't need to be shampooed. They just need to be vacuumed properly. Why would I wait waste my time doing what is not necessary to achieve this result if I could do it otherwise in a completely dry environment. So let's check it out. Now I'm sure you guys already know, but obviously this tool is called the Tornador and this is not the Tornador with the liquid basin attached to it here. So I'm not going to be spraying out any liquid. It is just the air blow gun attachment hooked up to my air compressor. So when I blast it, what I'm getting is this circular motion of air because of the way this thing is shaped. Now I'm gonna show you the design of this tool for those of you who haven't yet seen it, but let's go ahead and see what it can actually do when all I do is blast air on the carpet to stir up the dirt that's trapped underneath. Now before we come in and vacuum, I'm just gonna scan the perimeter here. I want you guys to see what this looks like before any vacuuming. I used the Tornador to actually push a lot of the dirt up here. So a lot of it landed in that area where we haven't vacuumed yet. Just look at this. You guys see the difference between all that stuff that was trapped underneath and now what we're dealing with? With zero liquid, completely dry environment. Now I'm gonna come in with my vacuum here. I want you guys to see how fast this vacuum is. So I'm not speeding this up. I want you guys to literally take note of how much time I'm devoting to vacuuming the worst part of this van, okay? The back of the third row of seats. It's the cheapest fabric. It's the impossible of the impossible carpeting, okay? I'm almost done. I'll hit this front area just a little bit. And I'll shut the vacuum off. Now, once again, I'm coming in post vacuum here. Bam, completely perfect. Now here's the back seat behind the driver's seat here, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys. Underneath the driver's seat here, this is what it looks like on the sides there. On the sides over here, tons of stuff that's been caught up in there. I've, I've folded back the uh, floor mat there. So you guys can see all the exposed carpeting here. Of course, along the edges here is where it is worse. And you guys can see all this dirt has not been vacuumed up yet. But what can I do to make my vacuuming process even easier when I'm dealing with all of this? Well, what's happening is I'm moving dirt this way. So I've not addressed the front areas at all. So I've got a bunch of dirt here. I've got a bunch of dirt on the sides. What I wanna do is start on the sides here because when I come into vacuum, I I don't want to spend any more time than I have to. So I can take this dirt and I can blast it to the front like this. 
Okay, I barely did anything, and you guys can see all that dirt is now gone. When I take my vacuum there, it's gonna take me two seconds, right? Okay, same is true underneath the seat. I don't necessarily wanna blast it this way, but what I can do is start to break it up as well as push this into the front of the driver's seat there, because that's where I'm going next. So I'm gonna take my Tornador here. And you guys can see how that area completely cleared out just then. I can do that here because there's really no way through for the dirt, it's gonna get blocked here. So I'm gonna keep this here because this is where I'm gonna be vacuuming. But in order to break all of this up, that's not going to come up with the vacuum because it's just been shoved down and underneath these fibers, I can hit it really quickly. So yes, I understand that now there's dirt over here, but guys, again, I'm pushing the dirt forward. So now when I take my vacuum, all of this is surface level dirt. So as soon as I vacuum it, it's gonna come up. It's not stuck underneath anything. Same thing right here on this impossible carpeting. Now, this that's left over, which is like a little bit of hair, maybe a little bit underneath the felt, is gonna come up really easily. This is all pushed forward. So all of this is gonna be super easy to vacuum up. Let's go ahead and do that. So guys, notice here how I come in here and all of this vacuums up in absolutely no time. Okay, I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on the carpet. I'm literally just running my vacuum over it. You guys see all that just came up that easily. Let's do it up here as well, ready? Here we go. We did not hit this with the Tornador, right? Because we didn't wanna blast the dirt to Timbuk2, but you guys can see, all the stuff that landed on the surface that might freak you out because you're like, no, I'm detailing. I need everything to be clean. So you are making it a little bit worse before it gets better, right? Because you're blasting the dirt everywhere. But now, check it out. Everything comes up so simply because it's all sitting on the surface of that impossible carpet. And this is how I can clean these carpets with no liquid and literally probably in a quarter of the time. Now at this point, I'm sure you guys already know this, but the big difference here, of course, in this air blow tool is that inside you've got this tiny little rubber, let's call it a straw, that as the air comes out, it actually forces it in a circular motion and it creates this outflow of air that is literally like a tornado. And so rather than having your average kind of spray gun on the end of your air compressor that just shoots straight air it's just directly at whatever you're pointing it at out of this tiny little nozzle you've got the tornador that you can even hear it it's a very different sound right compared to the straight air like this right and so the tornador if I were to take it apart I can actually unscrew the cone here make sure I don't let anything fall out and you guys can see the way they've engineered this again this kind of rubber plastic tube with these little bands around it that are actually designed I imagine to protect the tube itself because the tube is banging in to the inner walls of this little cone when you wrap around these bands that are a bit more durable it allows you to slap into the inner cave or the inner part of the white cone here without damaging the fundamental kind of functioning part of the tool here and you guys can also see that even after using it for a little bit you actually get this tiny ring of dirt that I was spraying up from the carpet on the inside so unscrewing this and cleaning it that way or just sticking this directly into a bucket of water and blasting air allows the water to get kind of into it which would of course clean the inside as well so guys the Tornador air blow gun not the Tornador that you guys can see up here which has the little water or chemical basin below and of course we'll talk about this later is the one that I use if I'm trying to dry shampoo or dry clean carpets without having to introduce a bunch of liquid, this makes my life so much easier because I can clean them to perfection in a quarter of the time without using any chemicals. We'll listen to it one more time. You guys can hear that cyclone effect happening. Listen, if you wanna check out any of the tools or products used in this video, make sure to check out the YouTube description box below. I always link up everything I use so you can check it out for yourself. And as always, guys, if you got value out of this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can just continue to consume some content here that's gonna make you a way faster detailer or a more effective consumer grade hobbyist who takes care of your vehicles like this on the weekend and you just wanna fill your garage full of cool detailing stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you in the next video.